If you read food labels, you'll notice major allergens are listed on the packaging, but the same is not true for many medications. Well, now there is a push to change federal law to require allergen labels on medications as well. Ellen Gallus explains why and the Minnesota connection to the effort. Cross Carmelo Sodium. 12-year-old Adina Togel of Maple Grove has food allergies and celiac disease, so she's used to reading labels. Provide on. It's good to know what is going into your body and uh, how it might affect you. In our particular case, we're looking for anything that includes gluten, gluten derivatives, uh, anything that is dairy. But many times medications, whether prescribed or over the counter, don't list whether or not they contain a major allergen. Ingredients such as dairy, eggs, peanuts, or wheat. They discovered this the hard way when Adina was 11 years old and was away at summer camp. She was unknowingly given an antibiotic that triggered a severe reaction that sent her to the hospital. I was terrified. I really wanted my mom. This federal bill is designed to eliminate some of the guesswork. Introduced by Minnesota Congressman Dean Phillips back in June, the Adena Act would require a label identifying each ingredient in a drug that's derived directly or indirectly from a major food allergen or a gluten-containing grain. In a statement, Representative Phillips says without proper labeling requirements, taking medicine for a simple illness can have detrimental or even deadly side effects for one in 10 Americans like Adina who live with a food allergy. This is an example of a generic drug that is already voluntarily putting allergy information on its labels. In this case, it's two simple words, but it can mean so much more than that. Taking a medication is something that should be simple. It would help people be less scared to wonder what's going inside of their body. They would have to worry less. Adina and her family are traveling to Washington, D.C. in March to gain support for the bill. It currently has 31 co-sponsors in the House, and there's a companion version in the Senate. We also reached out to Pharma for this story. That's the drug manufacturer's trade group, and a spokesperson for the group told us they are reviewing the bill. Reporting in the newsroom, Ellen Gallus, 5 Eyewitness News.